What's up you guys? Welcome to XJ Jesse's channel. So recently my sister's Jag was going through some overheating issues and I found out that the electric fans were not working properly and the fan reading was actually the problem. So on this video I'm going to guide you and walk you through some steps to check to see if the cooling fans are working properly on your X300. So the cooling fans should operate at low speed when the key is in the on position engine off position too. The cooling fans will run at a higher speed when the engine reaches a certain temperature. If the electric fans are not working, check the fuses located on the left side engine bay fuse box. There are two fuses that power the cooling fans. F11 30 amp runs the right side fan and F17 30 amp runs the left side cooling fan. If the electric fans are still not working, it's possible that the fan relay has failed. The relay is located underneath the front left side bumper. It's held on by an 8mm bolt. If the electric fan still failed to turn on, you could check the fan motor condition by connecting a different power source. Wire the fans directly to a separate battery. If the fans still come on, or they run at a very low speed, then the fan motors are bad and will need to be replaced. If you own an early 95 or V12 Jaguar, the AC lines have a dual and triple Schroeder valve pressure cutout switches. The single pressure switch has been deleted from the later models. The switch has been replaced by a shorting plug. This modification is necessary because of the annoying of constant failure of the pressure switch which may cause the sticking of the relay contents and or switch the fan into a parallel circuit condition, high speed mode, causing the fan fuse to blow or the relay to fail. If your Jaguar is equipped with a single pressure switch, disconnect the wiring harness, jump the terminal on the harness side of the connector, switch the ignition on, and if the cooling fans are operating at a low speed, then the single pressure switch needs to be replaced, or you can just simply modify it like this one, like the later model Jag. But, if you guys like keeping everything original, then just make sure to depressurize and recover the refrigerant before removing the pressure switch. So other possible reasons that the cooling fans are not turning on could be a bad temperature sensor, bad thermostat, low coolant level, or an issue with electrical wiring on the fans. Alright you guys, I hope y'all found this video helpful and if you did, please select the like button. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see y'all in the next one. Late!